Hello everybody, welcome to Fallout 4. This is a video of my Tefton Boathouse settlement. So, let's get into it, right? Um, one of the things I wanted to try to do was retain the look of the house and fix a roof, but unfortunately there's no way to fix a roof. I tried with uh, the barn roofs and things like that, but unfortunately it just got worse and worse and I ended up covering, covering most of the house. But it is what it is, the game doesn't allow us to fix a house and leave the elegant look, so. So let's start with the boathouse. Uh, there's a couple options here. Yeah. I turned mine into a washroom, but you could probably easily turn this into a pool area as well. It's kind of like a, a very cool looking, neat area that you can probably do a couple things with. Um, but yeah, I mean, my, my, mine are turned into to, to a bathroom and it's kind of a, a cool looking area, right? So, like I said, right? So, I really like the settlement. I enjoyed building here. I probably spent a considerable amount of time at the settlement. Uh, just because I think it's a neat settlement with the water and, and things and, and the layout and you have a lot of opportunity to put water purifiers which I'll show you in a sec what I've done. Um, I've also flattened out the area, I put ramps down to the boat launch uh, area which is kind of cool. Um, I, I put these ramps here to the right, you see those big white ramps. Um, so yeah, yeah, my water purifiers. So there's a lot of room to put water purifiers and you can actually put water purifiers right in the water so you can completely cover the water purifiers. You can get some extra water purifiers further deep down uh, if you've got if you've got the, the aqua perk where you can walk around in the water. It's pretty useful to have. Um, so yeah, I've got a significant amount of, of water purifiers. So starting at my top deck. So so once I did the water purifiers, I thought let's make make use of that area and I've created this, this great uh, sort of outdoor area for my settlers um, and a bunch of stores and things like that. So the, the one issue I did have, which was kind of weird, was I couldn't really put the bar. For whatever reason, where I wanted to place the bar, it was very finicky and then the bar disappeared. It, it, it was bizarre. It was the first time, you know, I've had that issue. But uh, all the other shops worked fine, placed them where I wanted to. So I'd start on the top of the house. Uh, I have my, my food area, so you can, all my, grow crops um, obviously when you start off the settlement it's on the ground uh, I like to flatten off the ground and make it look nice and neat and, and square and and covered right so this is where I keep my food area and you have a pretty decent view from the top here uh, looking down uh, from both decks actually um, this gorgeous water views from 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 the, the settlement so you can really do some cool stuff okay we'll go down to some of the decks here uh, I'll see if I can show you more of the, the water purifiers. I'll get into that in a sec. Now I've left the entire front area exposed. Typically you don't get attacked from the water. Uh, so we'll wait and see if that does actually happen or not. Uh, and I've got decks, multiple decks around the house. Um, that's what that person's doing. It wasn't even a grow area yet, so this is by default. Uh, oh, might as well go and show you the water purifier since I'm in the water. Okay, so yeah, you can see I've got a, a lot of them in here. Uh, I, I generally combine the, the 40 water units with the 10 water units. You can, the 10 water units are really easy to fill gaps in. Uh, so I put as many 40 water units in and then I put in, uh, I fill the gaps with the, the 10 water units. Uh, it gets a little congested. Uh, moving around and stuff but you, you can fit quite a lot in here. I think I was um, with the, with the water purifiers which I've removed um, you could put a whole bunch in front of the, the house and in, uh, sorry at the back of the house where the, the deck is and in the air and you could probably make 577 bottles I think I was getting pulling in. Um, if you just have it in this area you could probably make I think it was 477 so it's 100 less bottles just this area but that might be enough for most people. Okay, and I'll show you a couple that I've got completely submerged underwater, uh, just to the right here. There's a few here that got almost submerged, and then there's a couple around the corner here where these guys, yes, yeah, you can see. I'll just show you now. They're completely submerged underwater. But there's one just sticking out. Those two completely underwater, and they're working just fine. Like I said, if you have that aqua perk, you can you can do stuff, and then you can put a whole bunch in front if you don't want to, if you don't really care about the settlement. You can put a whole bunch in front of this deck here, along along the house, um, and you can obviously even put put inside the the uh, the boat house if you really want. Okay, 
Okay, so this is my front deck area. So if you want to keep it nice and neat and you don't want water purifiers running your view, uh, that's kind of the area there. Um, we'll take a look inside the house. This is kind of my, my lounge area. Power wasn't too much of an issue. I just ran in on that side of the, the, the building, just put a whole bunch of conduits and connected it. Uh, most of the power sort of worked. Uh, you have to do some extra stuff. Um, by just making sure the entire house has them around it. And I've also built some really cool little bedroom areas on the roof and inside the, the, the attic, if you will. This is the only area that allows you to build up upstairs. A little tricky getting this ladder in there, but it is possible. Um, unfortunately, Mary Sutton, which is which is the owner of the house, uh, I dragged her and threw in the water, but she kept on reappearing, so I couldn't get rid of her. So this is the first area, a very cool little neat area. Um, that you know you can have some living quarters it's right in the attic of the roof uh you know you can actually jump between the attic this is my little reading area very cool little areas there's, there's a bunch of cool areas you, you can create um in in this you'd have to use carpets and, and floor mats and things and yes here's, here's another i call this my office area or my bedroom if you will so you can actually jump between the bedrooms which is kind of cool go between them you can see downstairs there and up and this leads straight on onto the deck here, so you know, multiple accesses to the house, which is kind of cool. Okay, then I built uh, another main sort of bunker bedroom area at the top here, basically just beds up here. Uh, you, you can possibly go higher than this and build some extra little outlook at the water. Uh, this, this platform is sort of right on the edge of the building area, so I can actually really build right at the edge of the, the platform and put some railings there, but uh, it's, it's pretty close, pretty decent. I do have another, after this, this video, or part of this video, is I have a view of the settlement at night with all the lights and that. Looks pretty cool, so if you want to continue watching, uh, there is a, I won't, I won't be talking in that one, but uh, you know, you can same same sort of uh, tour except just at night time Okay, and I'll show you what it looks like from across the water. It's pretty cool. Nice looking settlement Let's See if I can get up here get a better view There you go, I can see the water purifiers The, the ramps are a little tricky to get in there. They they very uh, uh, they generally only click nicely to just so you know they click nicely to the foundation. So they're really big block foundations. Whether you use concrete or wood doesn't really matter. Um, so they click nicely in there, and then you can generally click click the ramps in there. They generally don't really click to uh, just floors, the wooden floors, very well. Okay, this is just the front view coming up. I'll just show you the side view here. Try and keep, if, if you're going to do something similar, try and keep this building as straight as possible. Uh, you know, through through a couple of my things off here. So slightly off angle, kind of bothered me a little bit, but uh, you know, I had to rebuild this section because I just threw it together and then found out it was, wasn't all straight. Um, kind of bothered me, so I re redid that section. So, really nice settlement to build in. Uh, you can make it really neat. You know, I left some of the trees there just to give it some sort of landscape. Uh, I, sorry, I meant earlier, I built this ramp, really there's a bunch of, of uh, high tall weeds or bushes that I wanted to cover, so that's kind of why I really had that ramp, but it actually turned out to be pretty nice. And there you go, so thank you for watching, I hope you get some ideas uh, from my video, um, you know, um, it, it, I enjoyed building you, yeah, I spent a lot of time, I don't really spend too much time with too many settlements, but there are a few like this one and Abernathy Farm and um, Sanctuary that I spent significant time. I also like the, the high floor, sorry, the deck at the bottom. One of the nice things about having a, a, a raised deck is when you get attacked by raiders, you can just lift up the deck and you can drop them underneath and then you don't have to worry about bodies lying around, which, which is kind of annoying, right? So this is just a little deck under this little boathouse. So it really kind of different, different access points into the house. You can walk around, go around, uh, pretty much any side. You can access the house from different angles, which is kind of cool. Uh, 
like I said, the only big, the, the biggest issue, challenge I had was trying to place a buy somewhere here, right, in the area that I really wanted it. And I still haven't been successful in doing that, right, so. It's a little eating area just at the back here so they can access their little stores. Uh, I don't think you need to build that, but I generally do it just to make it easy on them. Making sure they can actually access it. So there you go. So now I'm going to show you a night view of the settlement. Um, so you can take a look. Uh, so same thing if you want to watch, great. If not, then uh, uh, by all means. If you did, did enjoy this video, go ahead and hit the like button and please consider subscribing to the channel. And thank you for watching. I appreciate your support.